Hi there, Loy Macedo speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com. Who's Loy Macedo? Think personal branding. All right. Um, I had this conversation with a client and uh, female, and she asked me this question. She said, Loy, uh, I want you to be very honest with me. I said, I'll be honest, uh, you know, as honest as I, I can possibly be. She said, don't you ever feel jealous? Don't you ever feel jealous? Don't you ever feel envious of someone? So I said, yeah, uh, yeah as a human being, we tend to have all the emotions uh, like anger. We feel anger. We feel sadness. We feel hunger. We feel, you know, physical, uh, even uh, emotions and feeling. So jealousy and envy is also part of our, you know, part of our personality. So then she asked me, okay, who is this person? I gave her. Uh, the name and then she asked me okay and uh, why are you jealous of the person I said uh, I'm jealous because the person is more successful earns more money is living a better quality life you know I give the simple reasons okay then she asked me so how do you manage this and I thought this is the video where I'll share with you how do I manage the feelings of envy and jealousy okay now keep keep in mind there are some people who will say, I never feel jealous. I never feel envious. Uh, I, I do not know what to comment on that. Maybe they are so successful that their lives are so perfect in every area. They don't need to feel jealous or envious. Maybe. I'm saying maybe. Like if you were to see Beyonce or you were to see maybe Elon Musk, maybe they are so, their lives, they feel they are so perfect. They don't feel jealous about anyone. Okay. And maybe let's not go that extreme. Maybe there are some people in our lives who maybe they are so much at peace with themselves, they don't need to feel. Like I'll give you a case in point. My landlord, who is 94 years old, I don't think he feels jealous and envious of anyone. Okay. I I think, uh, you know, some, some people who I know who have given up their entire, uh, you know, uh, earthly desires, they don't care. They are very happy for everyone. Okay. But normal people like you and me, we feel jealous. So, how do I handle it? How do I handle it? I follow a simple policy. Uh, in my case, I follow a simple policy. If I'm jealous or envious of someone, it's obviously not a very positive emotion. It's not a positive feeling. And if I, if I stay in that state, it will only bring me negativity. Okay, if you're talking of competition, if you're competing with someone, professional jealousy and enemy is there like in your workplace someone is getting a higher salary than you earning more than you gaining more respect than you the, you can't escape that okay so you can work hard to get better but even if you if you can't succeed in some cases you just can't do it like Usain Bolt winning uh, the gold no matter what anyone would do they couldn't beat him so that envy and jealousy you can either use it to motivate you and help you get better but then what if you can't do anything? What if you can't? Like Usain Bolt, I told you, people who try to compete with him could never. Let's take my example. I told you, you know, that uh, person earning more money than me. So no matter what I do, I know I can't reach that level. The person has more fame than me. No matter what I do, I know that I'm not never going to reach that level. I'm, I'm pretty realistic in certain areas. And, uh, you know, the family life and so many other things. No matter what I do, I know I can't reach that. Now, so what do I do? Now, when I know I can't do anything or I don't want to do anything, it's best to just block that person from your radar for peace of mind. Now, let's say I was talking about views and subscribers. Say a YouTuber has more views and subscribers than me. Now. Maybe I can really take it to the next level and get a SEO company. I can get a expensive guy who will do the marketing. I'll do get one guy who will do the editing. I'll get one guy who will tell me creative topics. Maybe I'll expand my team. But then is that going to make me happy? Because if I get into this, I'll have to sacrifice other things, right? So I don't want to get into this. I'm very happy the way I am. Okay. So I'm not willing to do it. Then is it any point getting jealous and envious? This The second point is, if I'm jealous and envious of someone and I constantly focus on them, 
then do you think i'm focusing on me to grow or i'm focusing on them and if you focus on someone else means you are giving them your energy your attention and they will only grow see there are many people who follow my channel uh who don't like me don't like my personality and they'll constantly put they'll put stuff i i take it until the point i can't take it okay and then i when i realize that all they're doing is putting profanities and useless comments i block them off but there are individuals who have been following me for 6 to 8 years and they still don't like me and they create fake accounts and they still ah oh, i've been following you 8 years your content is still crap i my answer is very simple i'm focusing on me you're focusing on me who benefits me i benefit so i use the same logic if someone is focused on their work and i'm focusing on them they will grow not me right okay and the last 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 point is i mean um, how does focusing on someone else help you okay if it is competition and making you better fine if it is uh, you're converting that negative energy into intensity and focus to achieve your goals and become better fine but if if after putting all that if you are still not reaching your results and there is still you harbor um negativity jealousy envy whatever uh how does it how is it going to help you it will affect your health it will affect your peace of mind it will affect you mentally it will affect you emotionally in fact i'll tell you my wife sometimes whenever i buy her that gold you know gold chain gold whatever she shares it online and she says yeah people will get jealous and all that. i i understand and then my wife also when someone shares oh they bought this gold chain so she shows me oh this gold chain is bigger than the one i got so there is that jealousy and envy and sometimes i tell my wife see listen uh, when i feel uh, like thankfully she is a very nice hearted positive person when i but when i feel a little bit of you know negativity moving in that direction like example i bought a you call it five bar gold five bar each bar means if one bar is let's say $1000 two bar is $2000 three bar 3000 i bought her like example i'm giving you five bar gold so when i bought her a five bar gold she told me someone had bought her her friend or someone she knew bought a 10 bar gold so i had made it a kind of goal of mine that i'll surprise her one day and buy a 10 bar gold which i never bought in my life and lo and behold i was able to achieve that goal after a period of 2 3 years now after i bought her a 10 bar gold she kind of showed uh, one post where someone had bought a even higher rating you know 15 bar or whatever so there i felt okay now we are getting out of hand because let's say the person bought 15 and i bought 15 then tomorrow the person will bring 30 i mean where do we stop we see this happening in families he bought a car four wheel drive for 100000 the other guy will buy the same four wheel drive but a upgraded one at 150000 third guy will buy a totally different brand which is more superior than both of them at 200000 and each one will brag to the other and show where do you end with this show off like sometimes you know my older relatives they used to say the wise you know you get uh, fever and uh, for a few days and you're about to die you'll realize where you are in fact i think the best example is uh, one jpeg image that i received they're showing uh, a grave that is dug to put the coffin in and end of the day you and i both are going down there only no then what are you going to do take your house take your car take your money take everything when you go down there you come to all nothing right so then who are you showing off for so envy and jealousy should be used as emotions to propel you to get better but if it is moving you in a direction where it's taking a dark place i think you should totally block that person for me i follow a very simple policy i block i just block the person i don't search the person i don't follow the person whether it's my ex girlfriends whether it's the people i don't like whether it's the people who are better off than me because what's the point 
I need to live in my world. I need to focus on me, my family, my kid, right? Uh, yes, there are people better than me. Yes, there'll be, uh, you know, people better than my wife, my kid. Uh, we need to focus on us and we need to grow. So do whatever you can to be the best. Push yourself to the limits. If you can be, if you achieve more than them, congrats, you have done it. If not, even after trying everything and you still can't, then best just move on. No, accept, accept the reality and move on. Maybe you'll be better in some other areas. Emotions like envy and jealousy, we all feel. Use it to get better and not make things worse. That's all I have to say. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good, bad, ugly. I'd love to know what you think. This is me signing off. Thank you.